Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. After 22 years of working for the state of Florida, Paul Brewer felt insulted when Rick Scott ordered random drug tests. And I found it appalling that they'd be asking little old ladies to have to pee in a cup, but I didn't like the idea at all. I thought it was wrong. A federal judge in Miami found the test unconstitutional, saying the employees have a reasonable expectation of privacy and that the plan does not identify a concrete danger that must be addressed by suspicionless drug testing. The ACLU, which brought the suit, claimed victory. Her decision will protect the basic dignity and privacy rights of tens of thousands of state employees who otherwise would have been drug tested for no reason whatsoever. The vast majority of employees that we talked to said it really didn't matter one way or the other because it didn't affect them. And the president of the union representing state employees said the drug testing money could have been better spent on much needed pay raises. It demeans state workers and state workers has gone through so much. No raises. The ruling covers only an executive order Rick Scott issued last year. In a statement, Scott defended testing and promised an appeal. The judicial finding does not cover new hires by the state, and a law that takes effect July 1st does require drug testing for all new hires. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.